This video provides a basic guide on how to get started creating reports by combining the Click Add-in for Microsoft Excel report preparation features within a Click Cloud app. In this case, we're going to install the Click Excel add-in using sideloading. To do this, the Click Add-in manifest must be previously configured and downloaded from the Click Management Console. Click the Add-ins button and then click More Add-ins. In the window that opens, click My Add-ins and then select Upload My Add-in and browse to the location where your manifest is stored. Select the manifest and click Open. Then click the Upload button. The Click Excel add-in now appears in your home ribbon. Click on it to open the add-in. If required, log in to your Click Cloud tenant using your credentials. In the Space field, choose the Click Cloud Analytics space containing the app you want to connect the template to, and then select the app in the drop-down menu. When done, click Save. The Click Excel add-in leverages native Excel capabilities so you can start authoring the report using the Excel features. Let's start by adding a title to the sheet. First, we select the cells in the first row and we use the Merge and Center formatting options to combine cells and center align the content. Then we apply a background color. Now we add a report title and we change the font color, the text size, and the emphasis style. Then we can add a logo in the top left corner of the report. When done, you can begin adding Click Cloud objects to your report. In the Add In window, select the Chart icon and click the Add Chart button. You'll see all the sheets in the app. Expand the menu to see all the objects in the sheet. Click the plus icon to add the object to the Excel sheet. You can adjust the size of the image as you normally do with Excel images. You can add more charts to the sheet to continue building your report. Now let's add a table to your report. Select the table icon from the Click Cloud Excel add-in. Select the sheet in which the object is included and click the plus icon. You have the option to include the entire table or add it by individual column. Select the columns you want to include in the report and then click the Add button. You can then use the Excel Features options to format the table. Select the option Format as a table and then select one of the formatting options. When you create native Excel tables, your table must include a blank row at the bottom. This ensures that the Excel add-in propagates any native Excel formulas to every row of the table. Then add a delete row tag at the end of the table. You also have the option to create reports with levels for each dimension or chart value and reports with a page for each value of a selected dimension. Click on the Levels and Pages and then click Add Levels. Select the cell where you want to add the tags, click the plus icon, and then click the Add button. Include the report objects between the level tags. Format the level names as needed. For example, change the font size and color. Now let's add pages to the report. Click on the Levels and Pages, and then click Add Page. In this case, we want to create a separate page for each region. Select the Region field, and then click Add. As before, Format the page text by changing the font color and size. When done, click the Preview button to see the preview. Click the Preview as Excel button to download a preview of the report. Open it to see the report output. The report has a level for each city and a page for each region. Save your report template to use it in the reporting section of your app in Click Cloud. In Click Cloud, open the app that you have used as a source in the report template and navigate to the reporting section. Before you start creating the report task, 
you must define recipients and groups. In the recipient section, click Add Recipients and Groups and select Download Example. Open the example file and replace the data within the sheet to add your own recipients. Do not change or remove the first row showing the column headers. In the name column, add the recipient's name. In the email column, add the recipient's email address. Note that this column is automatically formatted to be a hyperlink with an email address destination. In the filters column, add the filter groups that correspond to those added in the filters tab in the apps reporting section. If the filters have not yet been created, you can create them after completing the user's import. You can add more than one filter separated by commas. In the groups column, add the groups to which the recipient belongs. You can add more than one group, separating them with a comma. In this example, we add three different recipients with three different filters. One for the Nordic region, one for the European countries, and one for USA. You can add groups in a similar way to how you add users. Open the second sheet and add the name of the group in the name column. After you've created the source file, upload it into the reporting section by selecting the option Upload New Version. Browse to the location where your file is stored and upload it. The recipients are now uploaded in the Recipients section. If you navigate to the Groups section, you'll see that the groups have also been created. The filters instead must be added in the Filters section. Click Add Filter and click New Filter. Type in a name for your filter. Click the Add button and search for the field, master item, or variable you want to use. In this case, we select the Region field and we select the region Nordic. When done, click Add Filter. The second filter we want to create is the Europe filter. As before, we select the Region field, and this time we include all the European regions. Finally, we create the last filter for the region USA. As before, we select the Region field, and we include the USA region. These are the filters that have been included on the recipient level. We also want to include another filter on the report task level. This time we create a filter by including only selected products. Now let's upload the report template that we had previously created. To do this, Select the Templates tab and click Upload Template. Browse to the location where you saved the report template and upload it. On the Report Tasks tab, in the Apps Reporting section, click Create Report Task. In the Report Task dialog, enter a title for your report task. When done, click Upload New or add an existing template that was previously uploaded into the app. When done, click Next. In the Output dialog, insert the file name and the timestamp format. In the Filter drop-down menu, select the filter you want to apply. In this case, we choose the Selected Products filter. In the Distribute dialog, select Users and Groups that you previously added to your report. Email is the default delivery option for the report. If you leave this enabled, you must add an email subject. Optionally, add a body section for the email. You can also send the reports to a report folder in Microsoft SharePoint. The delivery is completed through an existing Office 365 SharePoint connection in the space. When done, click Next. In the Schedule dialog, you can set up the report distribution schedule. Reports can be sent whenever data is refreshed or on a daily, weekly, or monthly schedule. When done, click Save.
Your report will now be sent to your recipients via email when the data is refreshed. You can send the report manually by selecting Send Now from the menu. Once the task has been executed, the report will be delivered to your users and will be available in their email inbox. The first user will receive a report with data related to sales for the selected product in the Nordic region, with levels specified for each city. The second user will receive a report with data related to sales for the selected product in the USA region, with levels specified for each city. The third user, instead, will receive a report with data related to sales for the selected product in the entire European region. The report will include a separate page for each specific region and a level for each city. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.